Hi, I'm Karen. On this video, we are going to make a sweet treat that your kids are going to flip over, and you're going to love it too because it's super healthy. Whoa! <laughs> I'm talking about sweet pickled beets. I know, beets. Trust me, I used to feel the same way. When I was little, I would always get busted because they would end up in my napkin at the dinner table, which would then turn bright purple, and so it was very obvious that I was not eating them. And I really never liked them until probably about five years ago. I had my daughter and I'm trying to do all this really healthy stuff for her. And I thought, well, I better do something healthy for me too. So I decided to, to get some beets and to try to do a quick pickle on them, which I did. And it was so good that my two-year-old reached over and grabbed one because they're purple and fun and ate all of them. She ate all the, the entire beet. So I was sold. If she loved them, I was going to like them. And actually now I do. And you can have them so many different ways. You can shred them raw on a salad, you can roast them, you can pickle them, which is what I'm going to do. This is a super easy, fast pickle. It's not something you're going to put in a jar and it's going to last for months. This is something you're going to do and you're going to either eat that night or within the next couple of days. And it's really yummy and super fast and super easy. So, beets. They're beautiful. They're purple. They have these beautiful greens which you can take off and you can saute those up with some onions and some bacon and they are delicious and really, really healthy for you. And these dark colors tell you that they're loaded with antioxidants. They protect you from certain cancers, they help your heart, they've got folate, vitamin A, vitamin C. You've really got to give them a try if you haven't liked them because it's really worth it for your body to, to get yourself to like some beets. So let's get to it. To prep the beet, all you're going to do is just twist it and the greens will come right off. Then, I've got one here, you can just use your potato peeler or carrot peeler and just peel that skin right off. The cool thing about them is you can cut the top off like so and you can put it in a little dish with some water in it and it will start to grow. <laughs> so it can be a really cool science project for your kids. And then I think you can eventually plant them. I've never quite made it that far because I forget to fill up the water and it kind of dries up. But anyways, if you've got a green thumb, you can plant your beet top. I'm going to cut off the end there. And then you're just going to slice the beet. You want to do nice, even slices because you want them to cook uniformly and all at the same time. Beets do get messy. So you're going to really, you can either use little gloves or you really want to wash your hands after you've prepped them. You don't want to get pulled over by the police with red beet hands because <laughs> they will be really red. This one's kind of thick, so what I'm going to do I'm going to cut him in half so I can stand him up and just make it a little safer. Let's see. Ah, very red. I like to steam them. Um, steaming, I think, is probably the best way of cooking vegetables. It really preserves the, the nutrition in them. And you can steam them on the stovetop. I have this microwave steamer that I have had for years. You can see it's kind of broken here, but it's awesome. It's trusty, tried and true. You want to place them, if you are using a microwave steamer, you want to place them with some room in between them so that steam can, can get all around them, like that. And then you would just put your water in your steamer, depending on what kind you have, cover it and pop it in the microwave for about three or four minutes. And this is what you will end up with. And they'll be, they'll be kind of soft. You don't want to do it too much. You don't want to overcook them, but you want to make sure you can get a fork in there real easily. So then you have your bowl of steamed beets. And from there, it's just a couple minutes until you're done. You want to do these while your beets are still hot, so that all the little kind of pores are open and they really suck in all the flavors of the pickling liquid. So what I have here is a quarter cup of the water from the steamer. And I just scooped it out. It's all nice and pretty and purple. So a quarter cup. And the thing with this type of cooking is you can, <laughs> so red, you can, you can adjust it to your taste. I'm going to put four tablespoons of white vinegar. If that's a little too acidic for you, start with three, and then you can always add more. Remember, you can't take it away. And that's just regular white vinegar. And then the only spices I'm going to use are cinnamon. And this, when I was making them that day, five years ago for myself, I was thinking, well, they're sweet, and what flavors really went, lend well towards that? And I just, cinnamon, cloves, so good. So I've got a quarter teaspoon of ground cinnamon, and then the cloves, and I've got an eighth of a teaspoon of ground cloves. And then I have three teaspoons of sugar. You, again, you can add a little more or a little less, depending on, on how sweet you like it. 
And basically, you're going to give those a stir. Let me grab a spoon while I wipe my hands off a little bit. And you just want to make sure that you get all of those spices kind of dissolved. And since the liquid's hot, they are going to dissolve quickly. So just give it a stir. And you could see, you could even do two beets in that amount of liquid, you know, depending on the size of them. If you want more, just make more liquid. If you're having a lot of people, you know, you're having this as a nice side dish. And that's it. So really, you just need to wait till that cools down, and then you can eat them right away. Or even if you wait till the next day, they're, they're even a little more flavorful. And one thing that I like to do for my daughter is to take a cookie cutter and cut them out into shapes. She's on a butterfly thing these days, and it's been feeling kind of like spring's coming, so we've got some butterfly beets. So that is it. Super simple, super easy, very, very healthy, quick pickled beets. Thanks for stopping by.